everybody. This is Heather. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I am creating a layout of my daughter from last summer. And I am starting out with a page from Simple Stories, the I Heart Summer, I Believe collection. And I've already added some white gesso just to blend out some of the pattern. And I am using some shimmers on the background. I started out with Jenny B. Blue. And now I am looking for another bluish color. So I'm using the Jane Davenport uh, watercolor pans. And I use this for a little bit, but and I'm trying to mix a couple of colors, but it still doesn't give me the blue green that I was really looking for. So you'll see that I switch over to the Prima watercolors, the pastel confections. I am using the shimmers again right now. I think that's pretty in pink. And I dab up a little bit and I keep going with the pinks a little bit but then I end up going back to those blues because I just was not happy with the blue that was down it just didn't really match the embellishments that I knew I was going to add I always enjoy watching watercolors <laughs> at a, a speeded uh, or a sped up video it, it just I love the way it mixes uh, on the video you don't really get that effect in slow motion but uh, so now I am switching over to the Prima pastel confection watercolors and that gives me a little bit closer color but I also end up using that little pot that you see me getting color from that is a shimmers I believe that is refreshment that one I actually hadn't used yet, so I had to add quite a bit of water. I am just going back and forth with the blues and the greens to get it somewhat closer. And I think that is about how I wanted it to be. So there's my photo, and I have already layered it with a uh, couple of scraps actually uh, the pink one is um, from my old Heidi Swap collection and the blues that you see that I just added on were from Simple Stories I didn't add a lot of papers but I went into this wanting to use specific embellishments so I picked out the photo and the theme that I wanted based off that I had gotten some embellishments from a hip kit club that I ordered last summer and oh now I know that that other layer that I use it's I think it has stars on it it is from pretty um pretty little studio I ordered a six by six pad that just had stripes and stars and different colors I don't think it was really part of any collection but I liked the color combination. So the bright pink flower and camera that you see there, those were from a hip kit club. I think they were an exclusive. And I don't, I've been wanting to use them for quite some time, but I just didn't have anything that really matched. I, I just couldn't make it work. And I've had them out of my desk in that little pink bin for a while just hoping that I would end up doing a layout that they would work and I haven't so I thought I would go into it backwards than I normally do so I think they match they don't really match my photo but I think in the end it all coordinates well and, and I'm happy with the way that it turned out the popsicles that you see there I am pretty sure I got this from Freckled Fawn and again I have quite a few of them and I really wanted actually I'm 
I'm going to correct myself. Those popsicles, the larger one, came from Two Peas, which, <laughs> have you heard that name in a while? I loved that store. I was really disappointed when they closed down, but when they were closing down, they had a huge sale on embellishments, and I picked up quite a bit. And I know that I wanted to use them, but they don't really match in that form without being colored, so you'll see what I try and do later. Uh, some of those circles, those were embellishments that I made. I took a page out of Missy Wooden's book and uh, just used a bunch of watercolors and sprays and paints and then punched them out with circles and I had some left over and I have a really hard time throwing things away. So I keep them and thought I could use them on this layout. That's so cool. That's a cutout that I did on my silhouette. And forgive me, I don't recall where it came from. It wasn't Silhouette Store, it was another one. I like to get cut files from 17 Turtles and Just Nick Studio and of course the cut shop. They always have really unique ones. Some of the other embellishments that you see, the little pink circle, I don't actually end up using that, but the uh, hearts that I'm actually Placing down one right there with the foam on it. That is also from Pretty Little Studio. I think that was from All My Heart. I, I just ended up using the, the hearts because it they matched. That flare, I believe, came from Etsy. And it could be Cuts to Love. Forgive me. I should have confirmed that before I started this. It says, You are the sunshine... You are the sunshine that makes my day, which is completely true. <laughs> I cut that flower in half just because some of it was hidden and I just wanted to continue that color across the page. I know that the camera matched, but obviously there's nothing in the photo or anything else that really matches that color. So I'm just gluing down those hearts. There's also a few other little bits and pieces that I pulled from a Kaiser Craft collection. I think it was, it's called Confetti. And it just, it was a collection of beautiful pinks and blues and it, it matched. So I was just looking through my stash trying to find some embellishments that went well. I started to glue down the camera and the banner that I put on it, but realized that the cut out the so cool it I needed to color it it just didn't stand out as much as I wanted to being that it was white and there's also a little die cut doily shape that was behind the camera I'm also gonna paint that so I'm just using the Jane Davenport watercolors again to color it and I'm not even trying to be that neat with it I didn't necessarily want it to be perfect but just wanted it something other than white. So this is where I attempt to try and color that little wood veneer. So if any of you got any of the wood veneers from Two Peas, they were not solid as like the small one was. Um, the small one I think came from Freckle Farm, but the big one, as soon as you add any liquid to it or even a, he a liquid adhesive, it starts to buckle, which was okay. But the it also had a little texture to it if you notice before I started to paint it, so this is what I'm trying to do. I'm taking a gel pen and I'm tracing around those lines and coloring them because I wanted that definition back because I felt like once I colored it, it really didn't look like the cute little popsicle anymore. <laughs> so now I am uh, using my watercolors to paint that other white die cut that will go behind the camera. And I end up spraying both of these with my, I'm gonna say this wrong, Sukuniko. <laughs> I think that's how you, they have the most wonderful uh, shimmer spray. I love it, I've had it for a very long time and, and I love it, it just adds so much shimmer and glitter. So I took the popsicles out again and I am tapping my fingers because I really wanted to use it and I painted it pink and it doesn't actually end up on there because I didn't like the way that it looked colored and I know that the color just soaks right into those sometimes and it just didn't look like the cute popsicle anymore. You couldn't really see the, the impression that it came with 
Uh, so I do use that small one. I'm just trying to figure out a good place for it. And I have to hold my layout up right sometimes just so I can get a better view. So then again, I am messing around with it and I finally commit. It goes right there, which I wasn't crazy about, but I was gonna use at least one of those popsicles. So now I am adhering that so cool die cut. And this is when I think about backing it with something because again, it just, the way it laid over the photo, I wasn't sure that it, that it was clear, that it was sort of distracting because of the colors in the photo. But I glued it down anyway. I know I wanted to use it. And now I'm just looking through some other stickers and embellishments. That's that Chrysler Craft sticker sheet that I mentioned earlier that I got some of the embellishments from. And I'm trying to figure out journaling um, and because I needed to put it on a label or something, obviously, because the background paper was already printed with words, so it would get a little confusing, I think. And I grab a couple of other stickers that have one of them says little moments the other one says fun 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 and they match so I really want to use them but they were flat on one side with a banner on one and I decided to make it sort of a banner on both both ends of the sticker to match the love this one that I added underneath the camera and the happy days one so now I am gluing those down and again, I'm just, oh, that is a blue little sticker that I pulled off that sticker sheet, which doesn't stay. I end up having to glue it down. That sticker sheet, I love all the sayings, and I've used a few of them. And I actually thought when I purchased it that I would use a lot more of them, but just for some reason, it hasn't worked out that way. There's a little sticker, it says photo op, and it's so small of a detail that I probably could have just left it off, but again, the my whole goal this year, 2018, is use my stash. So that is what I am trying to do. Even if it means that I have to create my layouts based on embellishments, I, my inspiration starts there. Usually it's the other way around. I pick a photo and then I go from there, but um, I am gonna try things a little bit different this year. That is, I think, crepe paper sticker sheet. I'm taking a couple of their hearts. You also saw me looking at a sticker sheet of a, sort of epoxy stickers. They were a Hip Kit Club exclusive from one of their kits last summer. Again, i pulling those black and white hearts because that flare button that I glued down, which I'm still really happy that I used, I didn't have any other black and white elements. So I am pulling those stars, scattered uh, two or three of them on the page just to blend out the black and white so that flare wasn't the only black and white element on the page. The layout probably would have been just as good without them, but to me it seemed complete. So at this point I th I'm thinking about my journaling because I still haven't decided how or where. Oh no, I'm looking for more stickers. That was a One Canoe 2 sticker sheet. And this is a little box drawer that I have enamel dots and little random stickers in. And so this is where I decided that sticker sheet from Kaiser Craft has a whole strip of little stickers. Uh, I guess they, they could kind of look like washi tape stickers, but they're not translucent. I mean, you, could see, you can't see through them. So I just stacked three of them below the photo and I realized the pen I wanted to use, it didn't have any ink, it wasn't working. So I switched up the pen and just wrote a couple sentences about the photo there and they would not stick down. So, gluing those down. My intention for this layout was that the So Cool Die Cut would be my title 
And you'll notice in the photos at the end, I have a change of heart. After I record this and I take finished photos, I just felt like it was missing that the So Cool was more of an embellishment, not necessarily my title. So I end up pulling a stamp set that I don't use very often. And I'm not sure why, because after I brought it out, I was thinking, why don't I use this more? I love it. It has big, huge sentiment titles, perfect for a scrapbook page. And that's what I end up using. What you just saw me doing was uh, splattering shimmers. It is a, it's before dark. So it's a, not black, but it's really dark gray. And I am adding more splatters of the Pretty in Pink from Shimmers. And I also added some splatters from Lindy Stamp Gang. So, uh, say la vie, I think. So now you're seeing the finished photos. And you're going to notice the last couple, they're changed. I just felt like, oh, and I got some splatter on my photo. But it happens. The final title that you'll notice is a combination of a stamp set and some stickers, letter stickers from Amy Tangerine. There you go. There you see it. Well, I hope you found some inspiration. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.